And now it's time for another edition of What Would Jello Do? I'm cowering in my cave, I'm buried in my bunker, I'm hiding in my pillbox, anything to get away from this non-stop cartoon McNews circus hype of all these people running for president when the election isn't even till next year and the primaries aren't even till next year. What a great smokescreen, just like all the Trumps going down, wait for the Mueller report to try and keep the masses quiet. And that way you don't have to report on things like the Trump regime selling nuclear technology to the Saudis, which could spark a real fucking war there, or what's going on with the western part of Antarctica now melting, or all the poverty and inequality and people dying in this country because they can't get health care, the thousands of kids still in those camps who are now getting chicken pox and whatnot down at the border. No, it's all about the candidates for president and all about Iowa. Iowa, 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 Iowa. This is where Iowa gets attention. You get those little straw polls and things. You get the all-candidate thing years ago where Mike Huckabee, who will never be forgiven because his penis helped give us Sarah Huckabee Sanders, he had a death metal band playing in his tent. But maybe he was onto something because Iowa is also the home of... Slipknot! Ooh, scary! Look at those styling masks! Kiss the goat, everybody! Yes, this is Iowa, too. So, if we're going to have these all-candidate debates, this would be a great one. Slipknot has a festival every year called Knot Fest, and now they're calling their tour that, where they're going around with Behemoth and Gajira and some other scary metal bands and things. August 10th, which, whether it's an official Knot Fest thing or not, Slipknot plays the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines. That is where to have a town hall with these two dozen people all running around saying, no, there really is a national groundswell climb for President Michael Bennett or whatever. Have them all there. Dare them to show up. Have a town hall run by Slipknot, where Slipknot's fans, preferably in their own masks, can ask people like Biden any questions they want. And you can force all the candidates to sit and watch the show first. What are they going to think of Behemoth? What are they going to think of Slipknot and all that? It would be, it would really weed out a lot of these people better than the straws. I mean, Biden was too chicken shit to even show up to the California State Democratic Convention. Let's see if he shows up at this one. And if you need a moderator, oh, I'd love to do that. I'll even try and figure out some kind of a mask and hope all the fans who ask these candidates questions have made their own masks as well. They talk about Trump being quote-unquote great TV like Les Moonves of CBS did before he was run out of there for sexual harassment. This is going to make even better TV. Slipknot, do it, please. I'll even bring Al Jorgensen to moderate, and I haven't even asked him yet, but I'll bet you he'd be there too. Go!